Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you through all the cool tech in the Silverado Trail Boss. So inside the Silverado, we got our six inch touchscreen display right here. You got your home button, got your shortcuts down here, phone, audio. So from your home screen, if you click audio, right here it's on FM, so you can connect to different radio stations. And if you like a station, you just hold the set, and now it's a favorite. So you can have up to 15 presets in this vehicle. And if you wanna change the station, you go to more, AM, FM, or Bluetooth, if you want to listen to your own music. And you can also browse as well. So if you don't want to go through the stations and keep hit and skip, you just scroll down and find your favorite station. And then if you go to our sound settings, you got your bass, mid-range, treble, you can change the fade and the balance. All right, and now I'm gonna show you how to connect your phone via Bluetooth. So if you go to phone, go to connect phone, click add phone, it says my Chevrolet, and then you're gonna go on your Bluetooth settings and you're gonna click the my Chevrolet right at the bottom. Then you hit pair, make sure the numbers match. And once you're in, you're connected, and then you're gonna allow contacts on your phone. And then from here, you also have Apple CarPlay. So with Apple CarPlay, if you go back to your home screen, hit Apple CarPlay, and with this vehicle, it's plug-in supported. So take any phone charger from home, plug it right in, hit continue, and then on your phone, you're gonna hit allow, and then hit CarPlay. So after Apple CarPlay is all set up, it'll bring you to your home screen right here with all your shortcuts. So you got your Waze app, you got your music. And then if you hit in the bottom left, this is gonna show all your apps. So you got your phone, iTunes, iMaps, Duncan, Hoopla, Spotify, Waze, even Zoom. All right, so now I'm gonna take you through your truck's personalized vehicle settings. So if you go to settings, and then vehicle, you have your rear seat reminder. So if you have kids or you don't have kids, you can choose to have that on or off. If you go down to comfort and convenience, that's just gonna be your chime volume for the door, whether or not how, if you want it loud or quiet. You got lighting, that's gonna show, you can either have your vehicle locator lights on or off. And then if you go down to power door locks and click auto door lock, you can choose that when you put the vehicle in park, whether or not you want the doors to stay locked, unlock on all of them, or just your driver's side. Then if you go down to remote lock, unlock, and start, you can also have remote window operation on or off. You can actually roll down all the windows with just your key fob by holding down the unlock button. You also have teen driver. So with teen driver, if you hit continue, throw in your four digit pin, and then you have a bunch of options. So you actually have a report card. So if you click on V report card, that's gonna show you your teen's distance driven, maximum speed, over speed warnings, wide open throttle, traffic control, and stability control. You can also manage the settings by audio volume limit so they don't blast those brand new speakers. You can also set a teen driver's speed limiter so you can have that on or off, and then you can speed warning. So if they go too fast, it'll warn them. And then you can set the speed yourself. So you can customize it however high or low you want it to be at. Now if you go back to your settings and click on valet mode, all this lets you do is lock the screen so they can't mess around with your radio and all your settings. Cool, so one feature I do want to mention to all your truck owners who like the trailer, you can go to your trailer light settings and with that what's really cool is you just press start once it's all hooked up and it does a cool little light show. So it'll do your brakes, reverse, blinkers, all that stuff. As well, you also have your backup camera. So you got your regular backup lines and then you have the little tow hitch lines so you can line it right up. All right, now let's talk about climate change for your truck. So down here, you got your fan speed, so you can have it on off, so that's just all the way to the left, and then turn it all the way to the max, right there. You also have your different fans here, so you got your defrosters with your feet, you got your front fans, and then your feet fans. And then if you just wanna customize, you can just turn them on and off, however you like. You also got your max front defroster, your max rear defroster, AC, and then the air circulation right there. On this side, we have your temperature, so you got cold and hot. I like it right in the middle. All right, and then down here, you also have your traction control. You got your hazard lights, your tailgate button to pop it open, and then downhill assist so you don't ride that brake down steep hills. This truck also comes equipped with a built-in trailer brake, and then you, for charging, you also have your 12 volt and your USB port right here. So on the steering wheel, on this side with other customs, you might have your audio settings right here to control the radio and the phone, but this is more of a base model custom, so we'll go over that with you in another video. But on this side, you also have your cruise control. So with cruise control, if you just hit the cruise button on the right, that'll turn it on, and this side will cancel out your speed, and then you can also just turn it back off by clicking in again. And then to set your speed, you just click the knob down, and then you can click it up and down to adjust your speed. Thank you everyone for watching this video today. My name was Howie, and if you have any questions about any of the technology or features, you can always leave a comment down below or reach out to me at Mohawk Chevrolet.